Hey guys, today we are going to replace this carburetor and 74 Ford F100. The engine's actually from a 78 LTD. It's a 351 Windsor. It's got a 2150 carburetor on it. And I'll show you what's wrong with it in a second. But this is the new carburetor I'm putting on. I got it off Amazon for like a hundred bucks. This is just my daily driver and I just need it running and driving. We're not looking for a ton of power or anything. So decided to go with that. Now right here where the fuel filter screws in, that's like JB weld right there because someone must have over tightened the fuel filter at one point and the casting actually cracked there. When I take the fuel filter off, I'll show you. But um, the carburetor was having trouble, wasn't running right, so I took it all off to clean it, um, rebuilt the carburetor, put it back on. When I did, there was some JB Weld in here that I just cleaned off and that exposed the crack, which then caused another vacuum leak. So um, we're just gonna slap on this new carburetor and hopefully that fixes all of our problems. So first thing we're gonna do is get the engine running and get it to warm up. That way the fuel line's primed and everything and ready to go. Then we'll just undo everything. There's full, four bolts holding in the carburetor. You gotta undo the fuel filter. You gotta undo the accelerator pedal there and this spring right here. Then there's this wire right here for the choke. There's some vacuum lines back there you have to undo. And then I believe, and you know, any vacuum lines, just undo them all. Then you should be able to pull the whole thing off. And with the engine warm, put the new one on. You might spray the new one out just to make sure there's no oil or anything from the factory in it. And then reattach everything. Put some either starter fluid or gasoline down the new one and crank it over. And theoretically it'll start right up and then you've just got to do a little bit of tuning. So let's jump right to it. All right, so I got it running with the old carburetor. And hopefully you can hear how random that is. And then I'm gonna spray the vacuum leak with some carb cleaner and you'll hear it speed up. That's a nifty trick to figure out if you have a vacuum leak. Anyways, so I'm gonna let the engine warm up and then I'll take the old carb off. All right, next we're gonna start taking off the carburetor now that the engine's warmed up a tad. Probably, uh, first thing we're gonna do is take the fuel line off and it is going to leak. So put something down there to catch the fuel. Um, it's gonna be pressurized, so just know that. I'm just unscrewing that enough that I can then come in with pliers or a wrench and unscrew the fuel filter. And then when I do that, I'll show you what's wrong with the carb. We're dripping a little bit, but it's not bad. All right. I'm hanging on to this because I just replaced that. So you see those cracks right there and there. That thing probably broke all the way off. And uh, I cleaned off the JB weld from in front of it. And I think that's what started the problem after I rebuilt the carburetor. So that's why the whole thing's coming off. So now I'm just going to finish taking everything off of it. You gotta unplug the wire from the choke, pop the accelerator pedal off, well, and then I'm gonna start undoing the nuts that are holding it down. Right, there's those four off. Next, we need to unhook this spring. That comes off easy. And then, actually the old carburetor doesn't have 
that thing on it, so I'm gonna grab, take that, that off real fast. Take this hose off. That's what I have running to my heater. All right, I think there's one more vacuum hose we have to get off here. Oh yeah, around on this side, you've got to unscrew this right here, take it out, and then this vacuum hose right here comes down they both go in right there got to take that out so I'm gonna take that off and then the whole carburetor should come off okay so now this carb should just come right off There's your old card. So, I'm gonna grab a new gasket here. Make sure nothing goes in there. That would be very bad. The new carburetor comes with a gasket, of course. Make sure the gasket lines up like it should. There we go. Everything looks pretty good. Check your carb one more time. Make sure it's clean, looks nice. Put it on the same way the old one came off. power valve on this one is a two-stage power valve. See how it sticks down that far? Whereas on this one, it's a single stage and it doesn't stick down at all. So, when I set it down, the power valve on the new one is hitting this thing. Okay, so I got the carburetor on right, and I'll show you what I did. So the power valve is at the front of the carburetor, right here. And the, one, the brand new power valve came with this cover. And you see, that's huge, whereas the other one is cut down to about there it must be. And so I expected the new carburetor to have a two-stage power valve, which is what 2100 carburetors have. But then I took the cover off, and it was the exact same power valve as this, which is the 2150 car, uh, power valve. So I just put the other cover on, and now it fits. Okay, so with this, that crisis averted, I'm going to start putting everything back together. Here we go. Might as well plug in the choke while we're at it. Choke is plugged in. This is going to go there, so that's good. Might need a bigger hose. Awesome. So I think that's good there. Since we're here, come on, thing. There we go. I'm going to hook that spring on, attach the accelerator pedal, and then I'm going to put this on. And then, oh, there we go. Awesome. Got it. Okay. Now I guess we'll actually bolt the whole thing in.
next is to do the fuel filter. And this doesn't have to be super tight, just as soon as it you know, starts getting tight in there, you're probably good. And if it starts to leak, then you might tighten it a little bit more, but be careful or you'll break it like the previous person did on mine. Alright, that's set, and now don't forget, you got to do that attachment back around there. Alright, I think I have everything hooked up. So I had to plug this vacuum one, uh, attachment off, had to plug that one off, and then there's one down there that I had to plug off, and then this is, it's all just a mess. I'm gonna go run and buy plugs for them and new vacuum hose and redo all that. But for now, we're just gonna see if it'll start up. Alright, so we got the carb on, and a after a like 45 minute run to AutoZone to figure out that they don't have the plugs I need for the carburetor, I um, got some vacuum hose and some fuel line, replaced that fuel line there, replaced the vacuum hose, and that is my temporary block off for that and that down there. Well, dang, there you go. That is um, a ton better, but that's a really slow idle. It's super smooth, but um, there you go. I might try and mess with it some, but that's so much better than the other that I don't want to screw it up. So that's how you replace the carburetor on F100. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching.